again. Back to the semi-finals. Indeed, and it's going to be one hell of an episode to talk about. I can, when we say we see you all again, are you all raging red and steam coming out of your ears, everyone? Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even sleep last night. I was actually awake at like two o'clock in the morning, still going on about that decision. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's going to come up throughout the whole episode as we talk, isn't it? Um, but uh, I, I, I think from what I've seen, I think most people are going to agree that Nicole shouldn't have gone. I uh, should have gone. I was going to say, Nicole didn't go. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, I'll be, see, I'm in two minds. As well, always, I'm kind of... Mm. Okay. Well, my I issue think... is... My issue is, I, I, at the end of the day, Nicole or Liz, there's no love lost between me and them. My issue that I was raging about last night <laughs> was more to do with how everything was presented by the judges and what they were looking for and then how they swiftly changed their mind and sent everything into chaos, which may have made a good edit, but actually you've got to be consistent and stick to your words. Uh, and I think that is what's going to come up in today's episode, isn't it? It's the balance between what is making a good television programme and what might make a good final uh, and what might make good viewing to actually what's going on. And I, I, I think yesterday's episode is a classic case of that, isn't it? Yeah, very much yeah. so. It clearly works because it's got all of us talking about it. Indeed. You know what I mean? yeah. So in some cases, like, you know, Ting is, like I said, I think he has got a stack of slippers beside him. At any <laughs> given moment. I, it finished at 10 and normally I'd be like off to bed and I was yeah. like, I can't go to bed. I can't go to bed. And we were and then, a little bit, weren't we? <laughs> I, went, I went up to bed about an hour later thinking, okay, that'll be fine. And I was just reading my book for a bit. And then I turned all the lights off and then was like, I can't get to sleep. And I was still going around in my head. It was about half past one before I finally calmed down enough to go to sleep. Only to then be woken up by the raging rainstorm at about yeah. three in the morning. So I'm holding it together quite well at the moment. But if I nod off, just shouts. <laughs> oh, you won't nod off. You'll be too busy yeah. contributing. Okay, yeah. so let's, let's go straight into it, everyone. Right. It should have been really, topic-wise, a fabulous week with movie week. But in itself, it was... A bit odd anyway, it was, oh. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The, the I thought we were on dark. I thought we were on to a good thing with the, the Marilyn Monroe dress because I thought, well, movie week, you Ooh. know, okay, let's recreate some of these looks. Yeah. And it started off with that and you think, okay, but then as we'll talk about a bit later on, I mean it just went left at the lights after that, yeah. I think. Yeah. It was so, really weird. I didn't appreciate them uh, picking out the fabric for them because that's kind of half of the fun, I think. Yeah. For me, it's like, <gasps> who's going to make a mess of picking the wrong fabric? Or, you know, they only had, here's a handful of options. Go. I was like, no. Yeah, so yeah. I, think, I think right from the start, um, you know, we were excited about movie week, but I think it then sort of went a bit there, didn't it? But anyway, let's go. Pattern yeah. challenge. The classic Marilyn Monroe dress they had to recreate. Now, yeah. Yeah. they obviously, because of all the pleats, uh, they had to give it to them uh, already done. Wasn't that, wasn't that right, Ting, from your criteria? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So they had the pleated halter neck dress with pre-pleated fabric. It's a good job I haven't had a drink today. Um, the idea was to create a level playing field so they could look at the quality of the cutting and the sewing, which I can understand because, like, like you said, normally there's a big issue over Nicole deciding to make hers out of tinfoil and <laughs> then worrying that it won't, you know, behave like it should. And, and that's part of it. So it was quite nice to then think, well, actually, we should be seeing exactly the same process. Yeah. And therefore it should lay bare, really who is quite good at sewing, and, and I thought it did do that. It laid very, bare, very clear, who was not good. Yeah. And it also highlighted how you should follow a pattern. Yes. So yeah. That's something else, to, because there was clear issues there as well. So. And also then, how you are going to be judged, because, because they got removed some of it to that level playing field, there were only so many things that they could be judged on. Mm. Yeah. 
But again, when they have their little conversation cutaways where they talk about they're going to be marked on this, this and this, perhaps they weren't aware of that. Otherwise, that might have affected what they were making. So Nicole had uh, a yellow, Matt was with the blue, Liz was with the red and Claire was with the pale blue. Um, yeah. As they were making it, what were, were we talking about um, uh, on the text? What things started to arise that we noticed? Did I get my phone? <laughs> <laughs> I've got my notes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, one of the first things Nicole said, which I wrote down, was, oh, you have to remember that there's a lot of bodging in sewing. And I was just like, right, okay, they've set her up. Yeah. Um, she's going to do something wrong here. And we weren't, you know, disappointed in on that front. But it's that kind of approach with her that I'm not overly keen with. And then it was validated by what went on in the episode that just bodged your way through things. I was going to say, I know some people that might do that and don't really follow and tend to bodge as they go along. I'm not saying any names, boys. I think but sometimes I think when... part of the creative. Some people, that's yeah. how their creative process works. Yeah. It's like, well, I'll just, that didn't work. I'll adjust slightly. I'll adjust yeah. slightly. And I think that's more true to life more than anything else. There's, you know. But I think it was just the way she said it might have then offended, like, yeah. many sewers out there um, yeah but, and i uh, think as well the editing as we all always yeah. reminded is always interesting yeah. and some things don't always get the full context no. that they should and i think that's something we must say actually about these final four when we are i know we're all they're all our opinions but we must feel for them as well that it is the editing that's making them look like that as well isn't it yeah and also yeah, oh, yeah stream pressure i've been following them on instagram and they're all just saying at this point they are all knackered do you yeah. know they're all, you know they've been at this for how many weeks it's the longest sewing bee we've had so it's like i kind of feel for them yeah. at this point do you know what i mean I'm like oh that's a long time to every weekend to be doing that's thing. right janet did give us those inside bits didn't they where where she said that you have to plan and then draw up each week and give them to the team with yeah. uh, uh, the production team, so it must yeah. have taken a lot of work. Okay, so they were they were making. Um, it was all about this top bit, wasn't it? And the 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 pleats ha on the the top. The what do you call it? The boob bits. Eight, eight pleats underneath the bust. Okay. Not the boob bit. Bust. <laughs> which again, this is where Nicole went wrong because the pleats were marked on the pattern because they had to be equal going from the centre mm. out, there was no um, leeway with that. And then Miss Bodgett came in and was like, I'll oh, put them into one. And then of course, it, I think it was Esme, wasn't it? Who said, well, you need to look at your pattern because she had all the pleats on this side and then a gap here. And then on this one, they were all in the middle and, and the gap was there. You know, she wasn't following the pattern. No. And then she went and sewed that in before she bagged it and then couldn't unpick it. Yeah. And you know, it snowballed from there. And I know it's the pressure and, and everything like that, and they're under a time limit. And it is one of those things you can't come back from. She'd sewn it in to the bodice without bagging it. She had to then bodge it round the sides because there was no way that could be bagged anymore. What, um, what do we feel about the judges actually telling her? Because they th that was that was a big little section in this challenge. Patrick and Esme there saying, "Ooh, would you?" I mean, that was a kind of a help, wasn't it? No, they've done that in the past. They've have highlighted they? people with, "Are you sure that's the right fabric you should have chosen?" They've also got in with, "Have you checked that that's the piece?" They have done that a lot in the past, okay. and I think that's something we also need to remember. They have done a lot of this same behaviour in the past. It's just we're now looking at people that we're not necessarily keen on and highlighting that. So just... It's very... Yeah, it's very fair. It's very fair. But it's just that... What I, I, I thought, you know, they were saying at the beginning, this is a level playing field. We are looking at the skills. Should, should that have been highlighted, the judges? Should they have well, just left that? As you said, this... it's on the pattern. You've got to mark the pleats, and she clearly didn't. 
the and the pleats were one of the things they were looking for you know they had the skirt pleated for them so these were the only pleats they had to sew in and it was one of the so-called criteria you know it would be like me walking around my end of unit test and telling one kid oh the answer to number 13 is 352 and then the rest of the 24 can just get on with it and work it out themselves yeah. you know it, it was one of the things they were going to be judged on we don't know what's been edited out either. No. We don't know that they didn't say something to somebody else. We don't no, know. And but then it looks that way. That, but throughout the final and throughout all the things up until now, you could say that exactly the same thing. They shouldn't have helped them at all, anybody at all, which mm. they have done repeatedly yeah. every single week. So yeah. it's not inconsistent behaviour. Yeah, yeah, good point. Um, okay, so she, uh, Nicole, had missed the, the, well, messed up that whole that whole bagging out part. The whole top. I mean, she didn't put the bars on the back. It didn't do up. It wasn't bagged out. The plates were in the wrong place. That. And I'm sorry, but her fix was so good. It looked like it was in from the start, which yeah. some of the others yeah. were. Yeah. And although you say it was all pleated here and then it was pleated here, that could be a very easy mistake to make because if you look at them together, the pleats were in the same place, but opposite, you know, as in it was opposite. Yeah. So yeah. Rather than being both being centre, it was centre inside. Um, what about Matt? So Matt was uh, in blue. He was just chugging along quite nicely. Mm -hmm. I, I wrote down the fact that this was in effect a costume and uh, he's very good at making costumes with his drag queen stuff. So, you know, to look at a pattern, to know, and he said he'd made that type of dress before the Marilyn Monroe one. And so I think he was chugging along quite nicely and therefore they didn't really edit much of him in. No. Uh, no. Because he wasn't having really any issues. I was and the so thing how he kept his cool. I was cheering. I was like, yay, Matt, well done, you did it. And I, I so think that was it was a good point on you because that was the same with Claire. I think I then texted on 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 WhatsApp, didn't I say like she's just breezing through? They, the cameras weren't focusing on her at all because obviously there was nothing visually exciting to watch with those two. But it is interesting, you know, like we've said about the editing and the judging and everything, because they picked up um, on Claire saying that she'd stretched the boob out because yeah. um, I wrote that down. But I have to admit, when Matt wheeled his mannequin around, I was like, oh, they've just picked up on Claire. I think his is a bit baggy there. And they didn't say anything. It apparently fitted perfectly, you know? Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was, that was a bit weird because his was definitely slightly... But it was like his was the best out of all of them without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he'd even managed to hem some of his. I know. I panicked when I see them coming out and all the hems were a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad Patrick explained that. I was like, what has happened? Oh, the dress is dropping. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. But again, that annoyed me because he even then stood there and said, oh, you know, if you were making this dress, you would sew it all together and then let it hang. And then you would hem it. So it's like, right, so why are you ask them to do it in three hours then? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's like, well, you're hardly going to have it all sewn in the first half hour and then let it sit for a while. And then yeah. um, go on to Liz's dress, the red dress. Uh, it was edited that there was issues with Nicole and Liz. Yeah. What happened with that zip? Because I didn't see that as an issue. I didn't see it as an issue until it pinged off and she cut the end off. Yeah, she cut the end off. So the zip was supposed to go the whole way up the back. Yeah. And So was, was that the bit that was cut off, was it? That she I, yeah. accidentally... I don't know whether it was accidental or she just didn't... No, I mean, it didn't look like that much was cut off. There was no. only a bit cut off. I think she, again, just got confused and thought the zip went from yeah, the pleated bit instead of the full length. And there was a little bit left over, so she just hacked it off. When in reality, she had missed like a two-inch... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think... But that's she... not following the pattern again. Yeah. So she managed to cut the top of her zip off and also she didn't get her hook and bar done either, bless her. Um, and she also had side stretching in the boob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so the, the judges' results were Liz bottom, Nicole third, mm. and then the other two were at the top end, weren't they? Um, I, actually I mean, I, I felt a little bit for Liz because I felt that... Nicole had made a bit more fundamental mistake, but overall I was happy because Claire and Matt were at the top. Yeah, yeah. I was like, they'll be all right. They'll make it through to the final. I, one of those other two have got to go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I yeah. think it was a close run thing. The only thing was, I think Liz's was more visually, oh no, because when you turned it around, it was like, oh, that's a yeah. Yes. Yes. Whereas you could get away with Nicole's because, yeah, of, yeah of the, of the, even though it wasn't bagged. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, so, but still probably close there. Okay, so let's move on then to the transformation challenge, which I think we all agree was just. What was going on? What it was the DIY was show that? or some sort of kids program where they're just like, make a thing. For movie week, they could have done so many wonderful transformation challenges, yeah. didn't they? But even then, this idea of it being inspired by sci fi then make, as, as we were saying, well, why can't you make an alien or a sci-fi costume rather than, what was it? The, the task was to make something beautiful, like a church. Well, the th well, they were allowed three items of clothing, okay, because it's a sewing show, and then as much scrap as you want, yeah. but we're not going to give you a glue gun to try and attach anything yeah. on with. Yeah. You're going to have to try and sew on bloody piping and everything. Yeah, no, yeah. that was... Yeah, because... Even though, like, we'll go with Claire's because hers was outstanding. But she was yeah. throwing that pipe on. Yeah. And yeah. Had, and Which she everyone had else would have used a blue gun. Sorry. Well, and it was a bit like when they said to Matt, oh, you haven't got enough junk on there. Which, okay, he spent a long time making that dress, which was very, very much the Barbarella-type outfit. Yeah. But with that PVC you would just go and grab some stuff and stick it on with a glue gun. You wouldn't sew it on, especially for some sort of costume like that, where you're going to wear it once on a night out. This wasn't something that was going to hang in people's wardrobes forevermore. No, and that's where the criteria was a bit odd, wasn't it? The, or the idea of the concept behind this transformation challenge just didn't, didn't really work, did it? No, very random. Very, very uh, random. And I think it was such a wasted opportunity. They could have done something so yeah. epic. So I was going to say, for movie week, they could have gone the opposite way. So, you know, like in the first challenge, they had to make the Marilyn Monroe dress. Well, in the second challenge, they could have had, you know, a, mo a movie costume dress. You know, they could have had Julia Roberts' pretty woman dress or, you know, something where they then had to do something different with it. You yeah. know, um, rather than just go, here's a pile of junk. Yeah. yeah. Make something sci-fi. I, for me, immediately, I went, sound of music, here's some curtains, you have to make something out of that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's so many different things they could have. It know. almost needed, the, the scrap thing, that almost needs to be in reuse, recycled challenge week. Yeah. That would, that, that well, would've... no, it, it didn't need to be there full stop. It no, was just true. a ridiculous challenge. This, I'm sorry, but this series, the transformation challenges, have been the worst part of this the show. They they are useless. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, we've said this many times on, on this <laughs> series, haven't we? You've, well, I know you've highlighted that. It's just, why why do that? Yeah, they've, they've been, to be, there have been a few handful ones, handful of okay-ish ones, but yeah. yeah. Interesting. I have to say though, Claire really pulled that out of the bag. She was yeah. the first only one, and I was like, "Wow, that's yeah. God!" Yeah. I feel like I'd wear that as part of the Jetsons or something. You know, does anybody and, remember that cartoon? And that's <laughs> yes. what, as we said, I can see it going down the catwalk. Yes, you could see that it's quite easily being something flamboyant going down the catwalk. How she put that piping, which made that the the, the dress bit flute out like that, was great. And I mean, I'm uh, you know, I'm not gonna discredit the amount of work Nicole put into hers, cutting out doormats and whatever else she'd done and, and everything like that. In that respect, you know, all, you know, credit to her doing all of that. But then when they stood there and went, oh, I really love this, it kind of looks like I'm looking at it going, I can't see it. I, I can't see it. All I can see is this black material that she's sewn a load of rubbish to and it had no real pattern. Yes. It wasn't I wasn't good enough. Me. I thought it was quite fun. I thought I could see the weird face. It looked, it reminded me of something you'd put together as a student on a night, you know, Indeed. from a yeah. dress night. <laughs> it looked like, more yeah, like I... something the next morning after a student night out and she'd put a dress on back to front. Walk of shame material, <laughs> that was. I think that would really suit you, Jane. I uh, <laughs> couldn't help get the feeling that they were trying to make that more than something than it was yes and no i thought of, no come on no she no. actually made the most effort she went to the fact of cutting out pattern pieces out of scrap material that was a nightmare and she actually managed to get it all which, together which and is why I, I i credit that sewing but it didn't to me it didn't look oh i thought it was awesome no 
Not when you had the silhouette of Claire's there. Yes. Yes, but Claire's was outstanding. Like without, like she was way ahead by miles. Okay. The and, one and cool. Let's not forget though, you then swung your eyes left and you were just like, Liz, what have you done? Wow. That looked awful. But it started well with the, yeah. the, the shoulder pads and the you know the studded bits, but then it Even went. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bottom half was really weird. I yeah. don't know what was going on there. With the, I don't think she knew yeah. either. No. No, but she she could have done, you know, when you think of the previous week with the tablecloth, why not just start off draping that shower curtain the same way she did? Because last week she even said, oh, I do very well when I drape. She should have got that shower curtain and gone with that to start yeah. off with. Yeah, even if she turned the bottom half into a pencil skirt to have those bits sticking out or something, that would have been a much cooler silhouette with then the studded and the craziness, but it is weird. It was and what is it, what is it with putting stupid random zips and just sewing them all with the raw edges showing and it's not a functional zip? No. Yeah. Tell us what you think, Ting. Don't hold that. <laughs> well, it's, it's the time, isn't it? The time that they've got. So well, this is know. why this challenge has got to go. They've got to think about this, or they've got to think about it better. You need to write in, dear. Uh, sorry, I, a bit. I think yes. When you're when you're judging, what I would like to see if I was doing something like this is right. You have three zips, and I want to see how you use the three zips, and I want to see how you use it. There's a bit more to then be able to judge. Uh, with uh, with the creativity, don't you think? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, but then that's also quite limiting as well, you know. It is, but then I think is it not then easier to to judge because as Esme kept saying, there was the, on on mats there was hardly any junk. But then, as we now know, how hard was it to attach the junk? But they were clearly being assessed on how much junk there was there. Well, Liz had none, did she? Or no, Liz, it, it, she it, had weird. She had the little thing. Yeah. The she had the, the rings and then there was wasn't there something i don't know a computer screen, but there wasn't a lot yes. on there yeah so we had liz bottom fourth matt third nicole second and claire first and that starts there were some sort of warning points there for me where i'm thinking mm, judging what, what what would you say about that final ranking well, the issue I had with it was, okay, Liz was at the bottom, uh, couldn't dispute that, to be honest. Um, you know, it wasn't great. But then they had their little judges huddle where they turned around and admitted as much, but then said, if Liz has a really good day tomorrow, yeah. that yeah. could save her. She said the same in her piece to camera. I think I'm going home, but if I can pull it out of the bag tomorrow, I think I'm saved. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we were all sat there thinking, yeah, okay, she's had a bad day, she's probably going home, I don't think she can pull it out of the bag. And then we moved on to that next challenge. But yeah. then, then Patrick then said Matt, didn't he? He then brought Matt No, in no, that was after that was that, the that was challenge. It. But um, I think yeah. it's, it's worth saying, I keep putting in because I like being the thing, but it's worth saying, she would have had to had an excellent week and everybody else would have had to had the worst week they could have had, I think, in order for that to balance out. Because you can't just have everybody else is good and she's good, but she's still down here because her other two were awful. But they've done it before where they've saved the person who's been no, awful. Yeah. They happened as well. Like last week, they didn't save Therese and she had a good final garment. She did. Yeah, but they yes. did that to her a couple of weeks before, though, where they did save Therese. Did. And that's the problem. But there was more, maybe because there was more contestants, we're down to four. Yeah. Just to keep throwing a spanner in, because I like yeah, to write it. No, he's right. <laughs> but when we get to that final challenge, by the judge's own admission, that Liz is the only one who's been able to pull it off. Oh. Well, let's finish this one and we'll go on to that final challenge. So, uh, do we think that Liz and Matt were right to be in the bottom two for the transformation yeah. challenge? Yes. Well, I, I didn't like, I, I didn't understand Nicole's, so I was a little bit aggrieved, but I understood as well that Matt hadn't used the junk. Yeah. Yeah. I think I thought I loved Nicole's. I thought it was real. I even wrote down, very sci-fi good mix. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will be interesting to see what our, our, our subscribers then, where, where they would put on this challenge where Nicole would go. Because I think that might be a big contender in the final judging of whether Nicole should have gone or not, is where her placement should have gone in this one. Should she have been third and should Matt have been higher? 
I don't think you could have justified Matt being second. No, um, you're right. If he'd have thrown on a bit of that piping or he'd done something with a bit more of the junk, then you could you could argue that there's uh, a, a, a reason for him to move up. But, you know, he, he missed a chance on that one, to be honest. He kind of knew that himself because he went, oh, I've only just remembered to use some of these hooks. Yeah. Oh, you poor bugger. <laughs> well, as you say, without a glue gun, it's blinking hard, isn't it? But Claire's was phenomenal, wasn't it? We all loved yeah. it. I did love it. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to then the transformation, uh, the made to measure, sorry. Um, what do we think of the idea of a made to measure with the flap address? Movie week, where did that idea come from? The Great Gatsby, that type of film. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't a clear link to it again. No. no, that was Chicago. I just don't know whether you've got movie week. Are there not other bigger costumes to make for a to measure? I know it's a completely different show, but when you take, like, Strictly and they do movie week, you know, they do reference the movies they go to and use the songs from the movies they're talking about. So, you know, there was, they could have made more of a reference um, you know, to why they'd chosen that style dress, even if it was just as simple as The Great Gatsby, um, which is a couple of years ago now that the Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. one was out. But, um, you know, it just make it a bit clearer. Again, yeah. it's where it just went from Marilyn Monroe just down with yeah. the whole relevance. That's why I don't know whether it could have been like MGM. You know, the, the, this is what I was thinking. They were clearly going for a golden era of yeah, yeah. movies. That's that's what, they, that's what the topic should have been. And then you could have done so much, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. But d unless it comes back to this level playing field again, did they want well, to be able to hone in the judging? That's what I wondered, because they were told, essentially, again, the level playing field bit was the beaded fabric. They, w they clearly wanted them to use some beaded fabric somewhere and if you just did golden age of hollywood you you wouldn't necessarily well i certainly wouldn't choose beaded fabric because it would make your life a lot easier yeah yeah oh, definitely and that clearly was the one of the talking points throughout this challenge wasn't it because they said right at the beginning you, you've got to contend with the beads and then how that works in the seam and then boom that was the talking point for and most. This is, this is highlighting again that the judges do tell, because they even said to Matt, they were like, are you going to leave your beads in? That yeah. will leave the seam very bulky. We will not be impressed if you leave that in the seam. Mm. And they told him, and he did try and unpick, but then it started to unravel his fabric. Yeah. So he to be fair, they well, all yeah. uh, tried to unpick and then decided not to. Um, yeah. It was only Liz, because her beads were the little glass ones, she was able to smash them out with a hammer. Everyone else had to end up leaving their sequins in, because they'd only given them five hours. hours. Yeah, it would yeah. take absolute hours. You'd need to have done that pre, you know, you'd had to have a pre-cut yeah. yeah. rip the beads off one side. And that's, that's where the logic doesn't fit, does it, really, with the task set. And then, well, if it's going to be judged that you don't want the beads in there, then that doesn't fit with the task, because that's so hard to do. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's beading fabric, which is going to be like netted, right? It is netted. Yeah. So to yeah. take beads off, you need time. That is a day of project yeah. all by itself. Yeah. Well, you can see with Matt straight away, because um, as soon as he started to unpick, with an unpicker, he wasn't just hacking at it, you can yeah. see the net disintegrating underneath. Yeah, absolutely. So there's no way, I don't think that was, that was... Yeah, it was just odd in, 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 in a task in itself, asking them to do that. But um, let's talk about the designs, the four designs that they had um, and they've come up with. What do we think? Let's start with then um, the idea of uh, Liz's first, with the, her design. I thought there was quite a classic flapper with the top and bottom with the sash across. I thought it was yeah. fantastic. Um, I, I think she managed to pull it off because she did not have detailed beading on her fabric no. that cobweb fabric was very sparsely beaded yeah. compared to everyone else's highlights wasn't it yeah, right. yeah. i mean it worked you can't you can't fault her again for choosing the right fabric and getting the look of it right it did annoy me here we go black again you know cobwebs it was just like for just do something different you know, um, so that's why, like I said, I'm not overly 
worried who went home. It was more to do with the process of how we got there. But yeah. she managed to she managed to pull it off out of the four of them. She yeah. was the one that, that presented the best garment. Yeah. But did she pull it off because she picked the easiest fabric choice? Because Possibly. Because the standard and she went with something that was going to be easy to manipulate. She literally took a hammer to her fabric to remove the stuff. But, but then she, she also the put that lovely fringed beading on the back. That was yeah. a separate, you know, it had to be added on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But still, if you're weighing it all up, and we've said this before with some of them where they've done their made to measure, and we've given out about the fact that they've used the simplest fabric. I think we mm. talked about Triz in the past with her um, yeah, pajamas. Yeah, yeah. And it, but it did demonstrate good choice of fabric, good technique, and as you say, those added wee bits. So I'm in two minds. I'm like, yeah, it, it did actually. I was very unexcited about Liz's initially. I was like, mm, yeah, it didn't. Uh, but, but when I seen it finished, it was really rather good. But this goes back to the judging because. After being told she needed a good day, she was presented as having a brilliant day. Indeed, yeah. I, you know, there wasn't really any issues as she went through the day either. You know, she she dealt with her beads, she dealt with her slip, she dealt with all the everything. You know, it was a complete turnaround. The way they edited her as not really having an issue yeah. at all, and yeah. and we were kind of then thrown a little bit halfway through, going. She's having a good day. Yeah. Is this going to upset everything? Because everyone said if she has a good day, she can save herself. It was, yes, it was almost identical to the episode with Therese when Therese came last on the first two sessions. And then she made that, it was the, the lingerie week, wasn't it? And she made yeah. that lovely uh, two-piece sleepwear and she... We, and she she got it, and we so we were almost copying that. So we just led to believe that right, Liz might now with that dress, especially as Patrick was in that little conversation. Patrick was talking about how good it was. Yeah, we're all thinking that. Okay, so let's move on to Matt's. What about Matt's um, slip and uh, his sequence that he used the blue. I loved the fabric that he had, the beaded fabric, the blue, everything. I thought he'd chosen really well. But it, did it come down to the fact that it was basically two slips? It was two non, there was no fitting really. It had to be loose material, mm. loose fitting. But that was the same for everyone. Yes, yeah, yeah. But his was, even by comparison to Liz's, was maybe slightly easier. Possibly, but he had got the he had got the bit on the hips where they have the dropped waistband. He'd got that into his as well. It wasn't just a straight. Yeah, it was a detachable sash because they took it yeah. off. Mm. Um, but that's what I mean again is it does it come down to he didn't his wasn't as outstanding because it was I loved I, I, I loved the finished look of it yeah I, I, but, but this it, it goes back to the judging again at the start with the criteria where they actively said that the whole point of these flapper dresses which I've written down it is it was to disguise the female form yes. it's not supposed to be fitted yeah. it's supposed to be a block of fabric Trunk. that goes down and then it's the yeah. beading that does all the work for you yeah, yeah. and he's he done that right I think yeah oh definitely I agree but I'm also highlighting that you know there's it's also quite simple like even Nicole's who we'll move on to hers was annoyingly more difficult yeah, well, let's move on to, to Nicole's now. It um, had this idea of the, the, the slip and then the, the top with the sequins and then the feathered bottom. Um, she was struggling right from the start, wasn't she? I, I just don't understand because we were told, and we'd seen it with the other people's as well, that these dresses have got the slip and then the other fabric over the top, you know, the, 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 the beading over the top. That was the style, blah, 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 blah don't understand why she then got so caught up on her slip mm. and she was going around she was drawing all over it with chalk and talking about taking it in here there and everywhere and you're like but if you're going to put that other thing over the top as long as the neckline and the hem is done why the hell are you worried about what's going on elsewhere when you've only got a short yeah. amount of time and the slip she seemed to just get sucked in and get stuck in a weird yeah. finite, infinite loop of, oh my God, I need to fix it. Oh my God, I need to fix it. Every time. It was really she weird. It, she made it even easier for herself by using bought bias binding on the neck. I know that, oh, I know a V-neck bias is hard, but she, she's practicing. And she was using 
Yeah, but she was using silk as well. So yeah. I'm not sure how many times you'd practice that at home. Because no. we talked before the cost of the fabric. Yeah. But, but that was the yeah. other thing. Everyone else was doing everything they can. And then, oh, madam wanders over to the haberdashery and just goes, oh, I, I'm running out of time. I'm going to use the, the pre-made bias binding. Which, yeah, if I was doing it at home, that's exactly what I would do. There's not, well, I'm going to be faffing around and everything like that. But this was the semi-final. Mm-hmm. And she's using yeah. pre-made bias binding. And everyone else was making their own. What? Yeah. Um, I, I couldn't understand the, 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 uh, the lovely gold sequins. I thought they should be. Was it upside down? I thought I, it looked like she had the sun was... as like a sun sunrise, whereas I thought well, they should our... be like a, a a D, like a cup. They should be that way, like bird feathers. No, I... should have it that way across the top. You think? Yeah, I didn't know whether that should have been the other way around. That gold sequence. The other way around would have been weird across the top of the boob, wouldn't it? I don't know. Either way, I looked at I looked at it square on and was like, but it's not symmetrical. They were all kind of shifted, but apparently that didn't matter to the judges. Oh, I didn't see that. It, but it wasn't it, at the bottom. It kind of started yeah. over here a bit more. So it then it was kind of a bit of a weird bit there. She hadn't removed any of her sequins. No. Um, yeah, apparently hers laid flat as a pancake, and, and Matt, who hadn't Matt. removed a few, was so bulky it required him to be thrown yeah. to the wolves. But his was, to be fair, his was much bulkier on the sequins front as well, though, wasn't it? When you looked at his beads, well, they both were. Hers was encrusted. Yeah, but hers was sequins, whereas his was beads, right? Which are bigger. No, he. Well, I think he had a combination of sequins and beads. I think. That it did. But along the bottom of hers, she'd also done that work along the bottom. So it had that when it fed into the feathers. Yeah. So there was that as well. And she used feathers. I, To be fair, when I seen it, I loved the look of hers the most. Indeed. I, I, I like the idea of it. Yes. Yeah. But I didn't going... appreciate the wonk with the, like her top no. was like. No, yeah. that was wonky. She had that net over the top that she'd not finished on the sleeves or anything because she hadn't put the bias binding around all of the raw edges. No. And then literally, for the first time, we have Joe going, time is up, needles down, or whatever he says, and she's behind the screen ripping things off, going, I'm not sewing, I'm not sewing. Yeah. And, and then suddenly, you know, she's <laughs> that That bit perfect. reminds me of... Of my teaching days when you say, All right, stop doing that, <laughs> or, or, or put your pen yeah. and they go, I haven't got a pen, sir. And it's like, Oh, come on. <laughs> and she went, I'm not sewing, I'm not sewing. And she yeah. oh, to make me giggle that little bit there. All right, let's uh, move on to Claire's dress. Um, did she over sort of estimate what she could do with that dress? I was no, so I- sad. I, I thought it would have looked lovely if it was done properly, yeah. but she fell foul of the beading again because mm-hmm. she tried to take them off, realised she couldn't. Then she said, oh, "I'm going to hand sew them." And of course, when you hand sew, you don't have the same precision. So she lost, you know, into the oh, seam fuck. allowance. Yeah, and which at that point you can't do anything about it. You have to just carry on. Which yeah. meant she didn't get her her eight hanky things. Um, down the bottom, she only got four of them. And the dress. And I'm sorry, fitted. but when the model put it on, it was like trying to get toothpaste back into the tube. I mean, yeah. I felt so bad for her. It's like, yeah, that's the one time that you don't want to. The one, the one week you can get away with having a baggy garment. Yes, <laughs> I mean but, it was lovely. The design that you know the the, it, the the concept of it was great, but she just yeah. uh, over. I just yeah. don't understand because she she said that she was going to have the slip and then the Georgia and then the the beading over the top, and and like you've just said, this is the week where actually the fit wasn't important. No, it yeah. was literally hung over them, and they were supposed to be loose so they could do all their little flappy dances and everything. Um, and I just don't understand that when she put a third layer in, you would have thought at the back of your mind, oh, this is going to make whatever I do a little bit tighter. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got that bit of extra. Yeah. It's the one time you'd be like, I'll just be extra cautious and add an extra inch or two. Yeah. That'll be fine. But yeah, I felt so bad for her because that would have been, and as soon as she put it on, you could see her face and I was like, oh no, Claire, no. I felt so bad. And and you can't do anything with it. You can't put a panel in. You can't, you know, you've got to start again, basically. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I mean, at least, was, at least was, she did some of the hunky things at the bottom, and that, you know. would, that would have been lovely had she got that. But there was just too many. There were too many creative ideas in there, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. but I was so surprised because I thought this would have been right up her street. I was like, this is this is your week. This is something yeah. you should be getting. I, and, and I think it was. I think it was the beaded fabric that did it to her. I think she'd managed the slip and the georgette, apart from not getting all the hankies on, but she'd managed the slip and the georgette absolutely fine. They were not tight. It was the beading. Mm, yeah. And maybe she, her creativity was perhaps stunted because they all had to do the same flapper dress or, or a flapper dress and, and it was all concentrating on the beading. Maybe, mm. as we said right from the beginning, if it was a different topic like the golden era, you might have had, well, she would have done something that maybe she was more comfortable with, don't know. Right, the, 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 the problem with this round is there is never an end result, is there? So yeah. we never really know where the judges put them. So let's just talk about these dresses and what would your, on you, what would your first, second, third, fourth be? Because I think this will be important when we discuss why and who went at the end so on you what was your who would you put at the top and at the bottom oh so first for for this round i don't know because i would have gone matt liz nicole claire what so matt, claire at the bottom oh, yeah because claire's was worse fitting and okay I don't know, because again, it comes down to that big... Well, I don't know, Nicole or Claire. It, this is the problem. First or second would have been Liz or Matt, yeah. and then last would have been Claire or Nicole. But and I love to finish... Shocking, shocking news here. I would agree with you totally. <laughs> but I think, because if we're talking about the finish look, from a, like, if you line them all up at the end of a room, yeah. Nicole's did still look really good, whereas Claire's, the fit just ruined it completely. Mm. Matt's was really nice again had that nice flow to it and was more exciting to look at than Liz's but Liz's also had that good technique so yeah yeah okay. so we, we, we're going then in this at the end of this sort of made to measure round with with um, Nicole being bottom uh, or in the lower section in the first and second round and and we're thinking it's going to be her, aren't we? Mm. Well, with, yeah, I mean, we'd been told that if, Nick, um, if Liz had had a good day, she'd potentially saved herself. We were told that Liz's was, in effect, the best of the, the four. Yeah, By that's... Patrick, not just me sitting at home with my slipper ready. You know, Patrick had said... I feel like and, I should have my slipper ready. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> and, we're now thinking... And so wow. you're now thinking, oh, OK, not it's potentially good. Nicole because she yeah. messed up with the Marilyn Monroe dress okay, they liked that black one, but then we've seen throughout the whole of this process, she struggled with the made-to-measure, something she should have practised. Yeah. So, yeah, it's her. And then, out of nowhere, when they're stood around judging, Patrick turns around and goes, well, of course, I think it could be Matt. Yeah. And, and that was when I then started absolutely raging because yeah. Yeah. He, he'd, had, he'd been off in a couple of places but to turn around and say just because he hadn't taken his beads off because that was the yeah. only thing and his hem was a little bit lopsided yeah. but that were the only two things they picked up on that dress whereas yeah. Nicole had been car crashing it bodging it in her own words yeah. right from the start yeah yeah, yeah. so we were, we were unsettled yeah, just a wee bit. I think you, you, the messages were interesting when you were all freaking out. It's like, pardon? Did he just say that out loud? Well, yeah. it, it, well it's also that his transformation challenge was just... He kind yeah, of missed it, some of the brief. It wasn't horrendous. It no. wasn't no, falling it, apart it, like Lizzie's no, was. It was a good dress, but sort of missed the scrap bit. Scrap bit. bit. Which, it must have been interesting being in that judge's room how much maybe yeah. they were arguing, how much was, uh, was Esme agreeing or disagreeing with Patrick? But the thing I think I took the most umbrage was, was that they dragged Matt in to then saying he could potentially go home. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, Claire's was like a, skinning, you know, a skin of a sausage trying to put in there. It, there's only the four of them. They could have turned around and said, Liz has had a really good day today, but is it enough... To, to counterbalance what she's already done yeah. and the other three have all done something and they could have done it that way but to then give Claire an absolute oh well it doesn't really matter 
even though hers was skin tight and was probably the worst of those four that yeah. she should have practiced. But then to single out Matt when all he'd done was the beading and the hem, it was yeah. it was the judging process. I couldn't have cared less who went home, I either wonder, of those two. I wonder, I wonder. Do you remember we talked about it before where there's the curse of um, oh, Joe with yeah. a mention of name? I wonder, do, have they got to the point where they have to mention everybody's name because they haven't actually decided yet and they need to get the edit done. So they're like, we'll just mention everybody in some way, shape or well, form. That's so it. That's they the didn't mention that. everybody's name. It went from being, oh, halfway through the show, Nicole or Liz has got to go, yeah. to then suddenly being Liz or or Matt. And, and Nicole was suddenly saved and, and Claire had done no wrong and not mentioned no. at all. But Which, Claire had come first. She had been in the top two twice. She had come second and then first. Yeah, yeah. she was. And so then so, so Therese the week she went home. Yeah. Was, 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 Matt, was Patrick bringing Matt in maybe to try and make it feel less bad because they already knew they were going to vote off Liz? They already knew by the end of round two. Uh, yeah, but that's where I think that, you know, we are four competitors they could have talked about all four competitors they were not four perfect made to measure garments at the end of the day no and no. again maybe production company uh tv program thinking right we want a good final are they also thinking who should be in the final do you think they go that far that shouldn't be the case if it's a competition of the best sewer yeah yeah fair, in the past it has been yeah, they haven't really, it doesn't seem like they've considered it where they haven't necessarily had a man in the final or they haven't had, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was, I was, I was shocked because I, I thought, right, Nicole's definitely going to go. She's definitely got to go. She's got to, really, because of, of just all those issues. Me, Liz. It seemed in my mind that okay, thanks, uh, it was right. So when they said Liz, I was like... Oh, you were still shocked that it was Liz, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I was adamant they were going to say Nicole. So I was really, I think I was a little bit upset for Liz because I thought, you know, perhaps she hadn't done enough. Done enough. And, and I think I was more re resenting the fact that Patrick had sort of built, built it up to, that Liz was going to get saved with his big words of her final dress. Yeah. But and I think, again, I think they just sort of, it had to have been perfect and everybody else had to be awful. I, I think, think they right. keep forgetting yeah. the second it's, half of this, where it's like, you have to have been perfect, but yeah. everybody else also needs to be rubbish. Indeed, and I think that's easy to forget, and I think you're right to bring it, bring us back to that, so. Attempting to be the voice of reason. I'm going to have to duck the next time I see Ting as he throws his slippers yeah. at me. Well, it yeah, be you're just lucky that I'm not allowed over there. <laughs> It will be interesting to see what um, uh, our subscribers think, uh, what Felicity thinks, what Tony thinks, as we've got quite a few. Uh, we Tony from Ting. <laughs> um, I need Team Ting. I've been recruiting over the last week. Been kept staying on top of me comments. <laughs> Good, because I think I think people will have will be agreeing that they it seemed perhaps more fair for Nicole to have gone rather than Liz. Yep. Um, I said Liz after the first two. I was like, yeah, Liz is gone. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I we we were, at first, like, but it was that last bit that, that maybe. I was, I'm just frustrated because they've done it to me again. Last year, if you remember, I spent 10 weeks trying to get rid of Jen. And then this week, this year, I spent ten weeks trying to get rid of Nicole. They know that I just don't want them to be yeah, in the final. The one with who I love and keeping them in. Screw you, Ting. <laughs> we we were going into the semi final. I knew this was going to be a good episode, perhaps more so than the final, because of 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 it being open and anyone could go. Was it a well edited? Was it good television? I think it was, because it definitely got us talking, like based on our WhatsApp, it got us talking. And based on today's episode, we're still talking about, I think Ting is going to rage for the next week until we have the next I, Like I said, my, my issue came with that very last round table after they'd done the made to measure. Yeah. Up until then, I would have said, yeah, the editing had been brilliant. It had done it all like that. And as soon as they did that last bit, for the last five minutes of the programme, I was raging because of that last you know, just a bit of judging. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you were still raging at half one in the morning, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> or half seven when I text you this morning. Yeah. 
I do think you're right, though, with, with, the, with the topics for this one. I do think it was something missed there. You could have had the golden era and we could have seen some wonderful, wonderful creations. Oh, what a glamour. If they'd allowed them to go free, like the glamour yeah. of the golden era of movies. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a I mean... You know, I mentioned Strictly, they do movie week every series. And there's an argument to say, well, there's no re you know, there's enough movies out there that this couldn't be done every series. But I'd like to see it done when we've got a few more sewers. So you do see that, you know, range of yeah. of, of yeah. dresses or outfits. Yeah. And, and, proper red what they choose and, and their story behind what they choose. Because we didn't really get any of that. And we have done in previous you know, made to measures, why why it's chosen, why they choose that fabric and a bit of backstory, but we didn't get any of that, did we? No, I mean, we got the, the story of the designer of the Marilyn Monroe dress, and I thought, oh, good, that's perhaps where they were going. Obviously, it wasn't, because that was the best we got. But when you think of some of those designers, um, you know, like Edith Head and, and all of that, who did all these movie costumes, you know, really famous designers, then, you know, there was an opportunity there to emulate those in movie week yeah and yeah. show off all those different skills and techniques from all those different designers yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay I'm so, so, next it's be so interesting. final yeah claire i'm hoping somebody I'm does address as dramatic as juliet yeah I, I mean this Juliet's is the thing if you think back to last year yeah. we still didn't know or, or, well we had a fairly good idea that it would probably be juliet um or possibly um, Ricardo, and then he just had an absolute mare of a time with that waistcoat and it all went out the window. But he, if he'd got that waistcoat correct, I think he would have won. But we kind of knew that going into that final, whereas yeah. this one, um, I, I, it's still anyone. I mean, they clearly loved Nicole, so yeah. you fear for them on that front. Um, Matt has got has done some good stuff, but we know that his nerves can get to him. Yeah, not and much. yeah, Claire has been steadily going along, but then uh, this week with the fit and a couple of you know a couple of weeks back, there was there's been little things that have thrown her off. Yeah. Um, and she's a good seamstress, but I can't sit here and say, oh, I think she's going to win yeah. because Matt could pull it out of the bag, or you know, best friend Nicole might win. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see who does really just go for it because I think if Claire just she see I I would love her to just let go and just go for it. Do you know what I mean? You know that kind of way. And she said yeah. it herself, like the week before the fit was too big. This week is too tight. Next week it's gonna be bang in the middle, it's going to be perfect. In my the head. Goldilocks of the sewing yeah. bee. Yeah, I'm hoping because I love Claire. I like her style anyway, and I just it would do me all manner of good if Claire just pulled it out of the bag and was Although, just, Notice we weren't given any idea of what they're doing next week. Oh, I've no Last idea. week they ran the trailer for movie week and we saw what was going on. Whereas next week all we got was the step forward and the winner is and then it cut away. So what they'll do next week is anyone's guess. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. So Anya, who do you want to get it? Claire, obviously. Team, but, uh, you wanna get it? Oh, do you know I'd love it if Matt won it? Okay. Well, who do you? What about you, Claire. I want Claire. Team Claire. <laughs> so, so we're agreed that we don't want Nicole. I think so. Uh, I love, I love. Claire, uh, to be fair, I love Nicole's style that she just goes for it. Right. But I, I just, I want Claire to win. Yeah, I think it's Claire's journey. I think I've, I've kind of fallen for that. Seeing her get confident, seeing her the, the, the ideas and that, uh, um, coming up with stuff. That's been lovely to watch. Really lovely to watch. It has, but I, I, I think we saw a little bit of Cool Matt um, with the Marilyn Monroe dress. And if Cool Matt turns up next week, yeah, oh, he could, he could have it. He could have it. He's got he the ideas. That even that flapper dress, he had the ideas, and if he'd pulled those sequins off, they wouldn't have been able to argue anything else about yeah. that dress. Yeah, yeah, very much so. It's going to be exciting, isn't it? Just well, let us know your thoughts on who went uh, on this episode. Whether you think it should have been Nicole, or whether you think yes, it should be yes, it was right to be Liz. Let us know. We, we love looking forward to reading those comments, <laughs> won't we, everyone? Yes, I've been catching up on all the comments. It's fascinating. Great. <laughs> really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to get my little posse together online. <laughs> <laughs> and next week for the final, we welcome Janet back. So it's going to be the four of us. 
So we'll Planet move... to meet your team. Yay! Yes. <laughs> there. Janet down there. And it's going to be great talking about it on our last on our last episode. So <laughs> look forward to seeing you all in a week's time, everyone. Okay. See Bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>